right now welcome back to another video and I got a whole new setup here I'm finally done with my bachelor's thesis so now that allows me to keep creating uh, YouTube videos right and today's topic should be about getting inspiration for Shopify apps so there are different sites where you can get some inspiration for apps that are working and apps that are selling so instead of coming up with your own ideas which would be the best way by the way but you can still get some inspiration from different websites from different forms and stuff and we're going to check that out right in this video so stay tuned and let's jump right into it so the first place to get some inspiration for your Shopify apps from is from this page uh, apps.shopify.com which is basically the marketplace for Shopify apps right now unfortunately this is German and I cannot for some reason I cannot change it to English so <laughs> I will just translate it for you right but anyways this should look like the same in, in English but you have all of those apps right here on this landing page all of those sponsored apps and whatnot and if you scroll down then you would see different app categories or you would also see some popular uh, categories right here now as you might uh, think is drop shipping is very popular email marketing is very popular and um, advertisement is are some very popular um, categories so you might want to build an app which is actually within a popular category because that's just uh, what is in high demand right but also there is uh, much more competition so if you want to go the drop shipping route maybe there is too much competition you might want to take a look at uh, some advertisement because also uh, marketing tech is a very very large sector so you could look somewhere around those categories and then you just then you can just drill down and kind of find your niche and also you might want to look for something that you're interested in as well or maybe just a little interested in because then it won't get that boring right so now just for example let's go here to advertisement and if you click here then you would see this category of course you cannot compete with Facebook snapchat or TikTok or anything but you can take a look at those apps and uh, those different categories up here you can see some more categories where I would suggest you to just drill down all of those categories take a good look at the type of apps that are within those categories and just look for an app which is small enough for you to be able to build by yourself but also provides enough value for um, for the user to use because for example I built an uh, app which would animate the buy button which is kind of okay I mean it didn't take that long but it doesn't really provide that much value to the seller right so you might want to take a look at all of those apps right here you can also take a look uh, at the most popular ones of course those are built by large development uh, companies and maybe not so by solo developers but still you can kind of get a idea of what store owners actually need and what kind of value you should provide to them right now for example take a look at this so you got this refer and affiliate marketing app right here and if you take a look at this like it's affiliate marketing apps all over the place and even if you skip to page number five you would still see some <laughs> some affiliate uh, marketing apps so that is an indicator that this niche is oversaturated like you got so many apps within this niche uh, you don't even want to dip your toes into this because the competition is so high and there's much likely not much money to be made in here right but um, for example take a look at this I 
think I found an app which actually made sense and that was a year ago when I did my research and back then this was the only app right here so this is an app that uh, posts images to social media to Instagram Facebook Twitter and more and uh, which would just automatically publish those images right and um, now I came back one year later and I saw that there are four apps that actually do the same. So, you know, I guess those developers, they did the same. They just took a look um, at the apps. They took a look. Is there much competition in there? And you can also take a look at the number of reviews. Uh, for example, this app has 817 reviews, which means that people are actually using this and uh, all of those five star reviews. So that means that people are actually in need for an app like that. Now, if you got something like this, those are four apps, right? So that means the market is not saturated yet. You can still take a look at what at the features of this app right here and um, kind of create your own twist to that app for example you got this app so payment is eight dollars a month um, and you can create up to five campaigns unlimited posts and whatever whatever but if you use the um, the free version then you are kind of limited to one campa campaign or stuff like that so you can go in and maybe create an app which has five campaigns but is for free so you know just kind of make those little twists and um, then you can start to become a competition to this app right here or you can maybe also take a look at what the other apps are doing so for example if I click in here and I take a look so on the free plan you get one automatically one automatic post per day so maybe you could go in and say all right I will do it for free as well but with my app you can get 10 automatic posts <laughs> a day or whatever you know just be creative you can be creative as long as the market is not that saturated like it is here so you can just make a little twist or maybe you could just add a an app which just posts to Instagram and then sell it for a dollar a month maybe people don't even want to post to Twitter maybe all of the users want to post to Instagram right so just be creative with it and that's just one step to kind of get an overview of um, what apps might make sense and um yeah so definitely definitely check this app store out so the next thing that i want to show you is acquire.com and acquire.com is a marketplace where you can buy and sell apps or digital products mostly apps but um, you will have to sign in. I signed in with LinkedIn, so that's no problem. But now I'm in here acting like I want to buy a new app, which also lets me get an overview of what types of apps are selling and what types of apps are giving me uh, what kind of revenue, profit, and what they are, what they are being sold for, right? So now if you go in here, and that's pretty interesting is you can select the criteria what apps should be shown now if you want to look for e-commerce apps mobile apps or whatever you can do that but you can also look for Shopify apps and that's quite interesting that this is an own criteria so save that and now you will have an overview of Shopify apps which are being sold right here and um, you can take a look at how much they are being sold for and what revenue they generate so you can uh, kind of estimate what kind of app creates what revenue right so let me take a look at those apps that we have right here if we just 
scan over them and for example let's take a look at this uh, app which lets the Shopify merchant set a minimum and maximum order value which shouldn't be that much of a deal like it should be possible for a solo developer to create this here you can also see the team size so it's just a one-man show right it was one developer who developed this app and he he's making a monthly profit of 234 dollars right so it's definitely possible to uh, create an app like that and now what you also have is those competitors to that app. Now, let me take a look. All right, so you got this app right here and you can see that those kind of apps are in high demand. Um, you got 200, uh, 200, over 200 reviews. So people are using those kind of apps. So there's uh, a market for it. There are competitors for it and um you could go ahead and just start to build an app like that they would also you could also see uh the tech stack right here so they built it with node and uh yeah so this is javascript in front and back end all right so like just go here take a look at those apps that they are selling there are not that many apps but um, you can also edit the criteria. You can add a higher asking price or whatever if you're just interested. But yeah, so that's another great place for you to get some inspiration for your Shopify apps, right? Now, the next place that I want to show you is, of course, it's Reddit. Um, it's just you can just go in here, read through those uh, Reddit posts for new store store owners what kind of apps do they use what apps are needed so um yeah you they're being suggested these very big these very large apps but from there you can also see like which kind of apps are in high demand so people need apps for email collection email marketing upsells sms marketing whatever reviews like you can you can have an overview of what a store owner really needs because of course you can go to this uh app store right here and but then maybe you wonder why nobody installs your app because basically nobody needs it right but if you go in here and take a look what new app uh, merchants actually use and what they actually need uh, you can read it right here right you can just do a little research on reddit scrim skim through these subreddits right here and they have very 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 good information right here for you and um, this is just another subreddit where they would suggest good apps or apps that new merchants need and of course you can do the same thing right here and just go to sms bump search for sms bump and then they, you, you would see that there are tons of other apps who would do something similar and you would just go in here take a look at those features and then maybe you can create the same app but within your pricing tier you would just add a feature that another app has within a higher priced tier, right? So that makes your app more appealing because your app has more features or maybe different features that the merchants need, right? Um, so that is generally the game plan. If you just want to get some inspiration for an app, of course, you can do tons of research you can look for stuff that is needed and all of that stuff but this would be the quick route or if you just want to get some get some inspiration right for for your apps <laughs> and um yeah that was a quick video i hope it was helpful to you and um i hope to see you in the next video so stay tuned bye bye